Democrats unveiled a bill today that could lead to a massive overhaul of our immigration system. Now, if passed, the legislation would offer an eight-year pathway to citizenship to the estimated 11 million people currently living in the U.S. illegally. Among other things, the bill would grant green cards to farm workers, people with temporary protected status, and young people who arrived in the country illegally as children. So joining us now to talk more about this bill is Catherine Seitz, legal director at the Immigration Institute of the Bay Area. Catherine, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with one very key issue here. The bill, well, it is unlikely to get the bipartisan report, uh, support it needs. Republicans may not support it. So how hopeful are you that this actual bill will come to fruition as a law? I'm cautiously optimistic. I think that um, a, there's there's a lot of public support for um, immigration reform right now and for doing something to help the 11 million undocumented people in this country come out of the shadows. So I'm cautiously optimistic, but trying to be realistic and not get my hopes too high. Right, and we have issues like this. The legislation does not include specific funds for border security enhancement. Uh, should, it, you know, if that's not in there, how do you appeal to the other side, to Republicans who, as we know, have a much tougher stance on the immigration uh, issue here in the U.S. I think the uh, the approach the Biden administration is trying to take with this proposed legislation is to, instead of uh, fortifying the border, is to try to address the root causes that are causing all this migration. Um, I think that under the, the Obama administration, they tried to, to sort of uh, become more bipartisan by increasing enforcement in the hopes that that would result in, in comprehensive immigration reform, and it really didn't work. So I think this time they're trying to figure out, instead of just enforcement, try to address those root causes so people don't have to flee from their homes. Um, and then at the same time, address the issue of the people who are here already. Let's talk about the, the folks who are here and who hang in limbo. The bill addresses mm -hmm. the immigration status of DACA recipients and uh, temporary protected status holders. Uh, which segment uh, do you believe here will, will be, uh, be affected the most by this new bill should it be passed? Um, well, if it's passed as it is, uh, it would affect, I mean, it would help everybody, right? It would, um, it's, it's got an amazing date of everyone who's here since before January 1st of 2021 would be included, assuming that they pass background checks and pay their taxes. Um, but there's special benefits for the, the dreamers, you know, people who have DACA would get their green cards faster. They wouldn't have to wait that five year period that most people would. Um, and same thing with the people who have temporary protected status. And a lot of the people who have temporary protected status have been here since 1998 or 2001. Um, and so they also wouldn't have to wait that five years. And then I think there's also a provision for the no. farm workers also to not have to wait the five years. Well, so the bill would uh, also, this is a very important differentiator here because every immigrant coming to this country, you essentially labeled an alien. And what this bill does is it removes the term alien in federal immigration law. Uh, is this a significant differentiator here in the view of the immigration debate in the public? I think so. I think it, it the problem with the word alien is, is it, it connotates like the other or somebody from, you know, from outer space, like somebody very far from from who, you know, who we are, right? It makes it very separate. Whereas the reality is so many people are, are just undocumented people living in the United States. They're our neighbors, they're our, our coworkers, our employees are, you know, um, they're people we know, they're people we go to church with. Um, and so they're not people mm -hmm. from some other planet. They're, they're just yeah. people who aren't citizens. And so it's just making the language well, more cer humane. Certainly a big change. It's certainly mm -hmm. a big change, and it's a, definitely a hot-button issue, and it's not over yet. Catherine Seitz, Legal Director, uh, Immigration Institute of the Bay Area, thank you so much for your insight this afternoon. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me.